Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I am going to show you how to mine Varus coin on a CPU. And yes, this is a CPU mining tutorial. It's a little bit different than my previous few videos where I've been focusing on mobile mining. But for today's video, we're going to be using Varus hash and mining Varus coin with a CPU because this is one of the more profitable ways for CPU mining. Currently, there is obviously a few different algorithms, but Varus coin is just a popular coin right now, and there's a chance that it might go up in profitability with the next update. So I'm just kind of preparing you guys and getting you guys ahead of the news so you can build up your own wallet of Varus coin if you choose to. But I will be showing you how to set it up on Windows, and it's through SRB Multiminer. I will be showing you all of that on today's video. I'm just showing you guys it running and everything here. This is just from my mining rig here. It is a CPU miner down there. Those are my GPU rigs right now. So I just wanted to show you guys this part. That's kind of like an intro, but we will be jumping over to my main computer and I'll be screen recording on how to set up like the miner, which pool to use and all that kind of info. Now myself, I don't have a very high end CPU, but I still pull in about five mega hash, roughly give or take, when it comes to uh, various hash here with my CPU. If we go down here, I use, I'll try to focus it. I use a program called CoreTemp. And this gives you all the info about your CPU. As you can see, I just have an i5. This is just an old CPU and motherboard laying around. But as you see here, it shows all your temps down here. So you can kind of track your CPU temps and everything if you are using Windows and you can see the specific model and everything of your CPU. So I suggest getting that program if you are gonna be CPU mining on Windows here. But as we see, I get about 4,177 kilohash. That equates to about four mega hash. So every thousand kilohash is one mega hash on the pool. So for me, I have 4,000, so it's about four mega hash. It's equivalent to my tablet, I think. So it's nothing crazy. Mine's just not a profitable CPU or anything. I just have it running because it's just sitting around collecting dust and might as well just run it for some wide, widen my portfolio and things like that. So now we will jump over to my computer and I will show you how to set this all up. It's getting warm in my mining room right now. It's just sitting here recording. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview of everything and show you that it is up and running. I will be showing you guys the same setup, so the same mining software. And like I said, I recommend downloading Core Temp if you are going to be mining on Windows here. But let's get over to my computer. I'm sorry for so long of an intro, but that's just how I am at this point. So now we're over on my computer here and we can get started with the setup of the actual mining software and everything. But before we do that, I just wanna show you guys this project I've been working on. It is a mining pool I have been working on a setup. It is for obviously the subscribers for this channel and anyone who wants to use it. I am working on adding coins and everything like that. I only have a couple coins right now. It's a little bit complicated on the back end of things to get things set up and going, but I got a few coins up and going. They're mineable. The website itself, as you can see, is up and going. You can go ahead and scroll down and choose your stratum, your coin and everything. More coins and stuff will be coming out on uh, this pool. If you want to request some coins or if you need some help with the pool setting up or any support, feel free to join the Discord in the description. The Discord is for my channel, but also will be for the mining pool itself here. I just figured to show you guys this because it's something I've been working on for you guys and just the community itself. So yeah, I just figured to show it to you guys and we'll just continue on with the actual tutorial now. So as I mentioned, this is for Varus coin on CPU. I did do a Varus coin video for mobile mining. So if you did watch that, this may look familiar to you. But this is the Varus coin website. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But it just goes over what the coin is about and all the information about the coin and obviously what it does. There's articles about it. They have a blog that you can just read everything about it here. But what you want to do is once you go over to the Varus coin website here is go over to economy. And this is going to give you the options for mining for like the miners that they recommend. I had trouble setting some of these up and I found SRB miner was the best. But I'm just showing you guys this in case you want to use these miners. So you go to economy here. And once it loads up, you're going to scroll down a little bit and click start mining. And it should open up a new window here. And what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit. So once you scroll down, you'll see CPU. And this is the software that they recommend. As you see, it's CC miner. I had trouble setting it up myself and I was using Windows. So I went with SRB miner here. 
but you can go ahead and download CC Miner if you are familiar with that. It does also work with Bears Hash, and uh, there is a few other miners as well. But like I said, SRB seems to be the best for even older CPUs and new newer CPUs. I just wanted to show you guys this so you have a few different options if you want to go ahead and set up a different miner. But what you want to do now is download their mobile wallet app, and you can download this just on your mobile phone. Uh, you just go to your app store and you just search up Varus and it should come up with the Varus app and you should be able to download and set up your wallet. I went over it a little more in depth in my uh, mobile mining video, but I'll post a screenshot of what it looks like. You download it and you set it all up just like a normal wallet. And then once you have that wallet, that is your Varus coin wallet. You don't want to use an exchange wallet. They have a little bit of issues with a lot of pools now, exchange wallets. I've noticed that when mining uh, a lot of coins anymore on pools, they say not to use exchange wallets. So make sure you use an actual core wallet for various coins. So once you have your wallet set up and you have your miner of choice you want to use, you just want to go ahead and download that miner. For this one, like I said, we're using SRB miner here. I'll post all the links in the description below so you can go ahead and download and just follow along. But once you're on the SRB miner website, you want to come over to download here and then you're going to click download from github and it should bring you over to the releases on github here you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a wide variety of different files here you're going to download the one corresponding to your uh, operating system so for me i'm going to download the windows 64.zip one if you're using linux you download the linux one if you're using uh like a custom or whatever this one is you use that but yeah, they have a few different options. So just download corresponding to your operating system. This is on Windows. So just mind you, this is kind of a Windows tutorial. So what you want to do for me, I'm going to click the Windows uh, 64 one here. And it should start downloading. And it'll start downloading up top here. And what you want to do is extract it. But what I recommend doing beforehand, just because mining software uh, gets detected as a virus, quote unquote, because it's just not a verified publisher. Some miners are a verified publisher. Some aren't. So what you want to do is click your start menu and then go into settings here and click update and security and then click windows security on the left hand side here and you're going to click virus and threat protection now this is just what i recommend to do it's however your computer set up but then you go to virus and threat protection settings so you click manage settings and you just turn off real-time protection for now and click yes on the pop-up but once the real-time protection is shut off, this is just going to allow you to extract it and everything. And then once it is extracted and then you add it to your exclusions, you'll be good to go. So all you do is open it up in the folder here. And all you want to do is right-click. And I'm using 7-zip, so you extract two and then the folder name. And then once it's extracted, as you see here, there's two folders you click into. It's all pretty much ready to go. But what you want to do is come back over to your virus settings here. And you want to scroll down a little more on where you turned off real-time protection. You scroll down and go to exclusions. You click add or remove exclusions. Click yes on the pop-up. You click add an exclusion, add folder, and then you locate wherever your SRB miner is. You double click on it and then you double click again. You go into the main folder of it and then you click select folder. And that will bypass it through the virus and threat protection. So what you want to do now is click back go back up and turn on real-time uh, protection. And that will turn on your firewall and antivirus and all that back on and going again. But it is excluded from this because you added it to the exclusions folder here. So once you have that all done, you can close out of these settings here. And you wanna go to the SRB folder, double click and double click again. And then you're gonna have a bunch of these batch files and all these different files. What you wanna look for is, is the Varus coin one. So what you wanna do is scroll down is near the bottom obviously because it's v so just keep scrolling and as you see start dash mining dash bears coin but what you want to do is click right click and then for you it might be notepad if you have notepad plus plus installed you can use this as well uh, so i'm just going to use notepad plus plus but once you open it here you're going to see it'll be the same on notepad this is just more of an advanced one for uh notepad plus plus so as you see here you're going to have your whole algorithm and stratum here what you want to do is change the pool unless you want to use luck pool. But what I recommend the one I use is the pool.varus.io. This is the Varus community pool. And as you see, do not mind to exchange wallets. It will go wrong. And as you see right on the homepage here, they're going to have all their difficulties and their stratums and everything. The one I usually use is the 99991. This top one, the 99. 
981 is usually for mobile. This is for if you have like a big farm or a proxy miner. Your regular miner host is going to be this one here. So what you want to do is right click and copy. Then that depends if you use this pool. Whatever pool you use, you're just going to put the pool uh, stratum right here. So you click paste. And as you see, pool.varus.io colon 9999. And then wallet right here is you're going to put your Varus wallet. So the one that you downloaded on your phone there, you're just going to copy that wallet address and paste it into here or whatever core wallet you are using for the Varus coin. I don't have mine on hand right now. I have mine set up on my CPU miner. I'm just recording on this PC just to show you guys. But as you see, you just put in your Varus wallet and all you do is click save. And once you have it saved, you close and then you go back to wherever you saved it. And then you're going to double click start dash mining dot dash bears coin and it should fire up and start mining for you as i showed you at the beginning of the video i'll quickly uh pull it up here as you can see it should start up just as so just as mine did and if you have any issues just post in the comments below but you should be good to go but if everything is up and running it's accepting shares then you're all good to go and you're up in mining Varus coin. And then what you want to do is come over to whichever pool you are using. Like I said, I use this one, pool.varus.io. And then you want to go over, I believe it's to worker stats, I think it is. So we'll click on that and let that load up. Sometimes it just takes a minute. And then what you want to do is go to miner lookup. And you're going to paste in your Varus coin uh, wallet address right here. And click look up and it should bring you to a dashboard of uh, your mining rigs, uh, which ones you have set up, your coins that you're mining, the shares, everything just like a normal pool would. So this obviously just depends on the pool you're using. If you're following along, this is how you do it for the Varus pool here. This pool is set up, I believe, by the developers or the community itself, one of the two, but strictly just Varus coin. I haven't ventured out and tried different pools for Varus. I just stuck with this one because I heard it's a solid one to use. So yeah, you can go ahead and use this one or a different one. Same with the miners. Like I said, you can go ahead and use CC Miner. There's a few other miners that work, but I found SRB is your best bet. But yeah, hopefully everything is up and running for you and then you'll be mining Varus coin. It's as easy as that. And mind you, this is CPU. If you want to check out how to mine it for mobile, you can check out uh, some of my latest uploads. I have one or two videos there I uploaded for mobile mining. So if you want to check those out, go right ahead. From what I've uh, understand and calculations each mega hash is about a penny when it comes to varus coin currently that's before this update apparently there's supposed to be an update for varus coin which is going to make it even more profitable but right now if you're let's say pulling five to ten mega hash that's five to ten cents a day for that device so that's why mobile mining is good on varus coin too but even with cpus as well because if you're pulling in double digits then you're pulling in 10 20 30 cents a day it all depends how many mega hash and how big your farm is obviously just like with most coins and algorithms but this one just tends to be a little more profitable for these lower end devices mobile devices and even higher end devices but yeah like i said feel free to check out my pool more coins will come more algorithms will come i'm slowly just getting like into the gist of this getting my uh coding and programming skills back up there but yeah, overall, hopefully this tutorial did help you. If it did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know it's helping you guys out and you're enjoying my uh, tutorials and my crypto videos. But that's all I got, and I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.